Hey everybody, welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jortson. And I'm Nick Kendall. And guys, we're going to be digging right into Circuit of the Americas. All three series will be running this weekend. Uh, we're going to start off with the truck series on Saturday early afternoon. We got the Expel 225 140 mile race. Uh, stage one is 12 laps. Stage two is 14. And the final is 15 for a total of 41 laps. Uh, front front row motorsports they won the last two races here with todd gilland in 2021 and zane smith last year zane is still in that truck and he's going to be my pick for the race i just think that 38 is just so bad fast already this year and they just know how to whoop ass here down in texas so yeah. buddy buddy who you got for trucks uh i'm actually gonna go with the 75 i'm gonna go with parker klingerman uh parker won at mid ohio in the truck series last year so He's pretty damn good on these road courses. It's gonna, I think it's going to be really tough to beat Kyle Busch and Alex Bowman. Uh, I think those two are going to be fast. But, hey, Zane Smith was able to get past him last year. So I I, I think Parker Klingerman is going to be the guy to get it done on Saturday. He's going to take it to him. Yeah. All right. And for the Xfinity Series, we got the Pit Boss 250, 157-mile race. Stage one is 14 laps. And the final two stages is 16 for a total of 46 laps. Kyle Busch won in 2021 with Joe Gibbs Racing. And the Dinger won here last year with Colleg. Um, Nick, who you got to win this race? The Dinger is back. Yeah, the Dinger is back. And the Dinger is going back to victory lane here at this racetrack. Uh, Not really a hard pick, huh? No, not really a hard pick. I mean, it's AJ Allmendinger, and it's a road course like this. Hell, he should have. He was gonna win that Cup race last year, <laughs> uh, and so he, he met the the trenches of Ross. He, he met Ross Chastain last year for the first time, and yeah. Uh, but no, AJ Allmendinger. He he's just so damn good when we go to these road courses. It's almost like you can pencil him in, and he's going to get it done. And I just don't see how he doesn't get it done on again on Saturday. Give me the danger. Yeah, he's got to have some kind of mechanical failure or have some idiot named Ty Gibbs take him out, who <laughs> is my pick to win. <laughs> Ty is going to be the 19 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, he's pretty damn good at these road courses. Got his first ever uh, Xfinity Series win on a road course with the uh, Daytona road course. So, yeah, Ty Gibbs, he's back in the Xfinity Series where he won a championship last year. And, uh, I don't think he's going to miss a beat here. I think he's going to stomp the field like he did last year. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then for the Cup Series, we got the Texas Grand Prix, a 233-mile race. Stage one is 15 laps. Stage two is 17. And the finals, 36 for a total of 68 laps. Chase Elliott won here in 2021, and Ross Chastain won last year. Uh, getting his first Cup Series win with that dramatic finish with uh, Dinger and Alex Bowman. Um, buddy, who you got to take the checkered flag on Sunday? I'm going to pick a guy. We were just talking about it in our uh, in our Atlanta Review show towards the end of the show when we were talking about when is Toyota going to finally go to victory lane. The, four, the Chevrolets have dominated the season. Ford joined the win column last week. When is it going to be Toyota's turn? I think it happens this week, and I think it comes out of that 45 car of Tyler Reddick. It's been a, it's been an uphill battle here for for Tyler Reddick uh, in his first season with 2311 Racing, but we've seen how how Reddick has been on these road courses. He's kind of turned into that 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 road course guy. Every single time we run a road course, Reddick is at the front and he's winning these things. Um, so I don't, so I don't see why that changes come Sunday, and I think that's going to be. Uh, he's going to get Toyota's first win of the season and he, that's going to, that's going to propel him into starting to get some better finishes on the ovals too, uh, with this 45 crew. So Tyler Reddick goes to victory lane on Sunday and now you're going to, that's going to make your dad a very happy man. Yes. <laughs> finally have some uh, money in his pocket after <laughs> uh, getting broke from last year and, uh, the suffering from this year so far. So yes, he'll be very happy. <laughs> Um, I got to go with another Toyota driver. I think he's really good on these road courses as well. Christopher Bell. Uh, yeah. Uh, another guy that I'm picking that got his first career win at the Daytona road course. Um, this kid has been on fire so far this year, uh, ended the season last year on fire as well. 
Um, so yeah, I think this kid's going to get his first win and finally get a win for Toyota this season. And after uh, seeing Chevy dominate all year and, uh, Ford getting the victory last week, <laughs> but yeah, Toyota, they are hungry for a win. So buddy, you got anything else to add before, uh, NASCAR goes back to Coda for what is it? The third time now, third time now. Third time now, and I'm still not excited for it. I'm sorry. I'll be that Debbie Downer. I See, simply just I, I, I don't I don't like this place. Uh it's cool because it's gonna it's gonna hopefully draw it's drawn a lot of people in because people like this road course for like F one and every other kind of series like that. But this one, it just I the what with what happened two years ago with the with the rain. Last year was an exciting finish, but other than that, I wasn't I wasn't for it. I don't know, just me in general. You know me. I'm not yeah, the road course. You, you just don't like them, yeah. I just don't like them in general. Uh it's not it's not my cup of tea. So honestly, eh, I'm ready to get this one over with. All right. Fair. Fair. All righty. Well, that will about wrap it up for our show here at the Stock Car Spectacle. Guys, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And you can find us on Twitter and Instagram. So that'll do it for us. I'm Ian Jordson. And I'm Nick Kinzel. We'll see you guys next time.